Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I'm looking at a rather snazzy non-combat ship. This one is called the Quadcopter Mark 1, which is this thing right here. It's a small atmospheric ship where it's got plenty of space for you to upgrade this with whatever you want. So if you want to slap some Gatling guns on this and turn it into a little fighter, you can do. So pressing F10 and finding the quadcopter, there it is, this ship weighs in at 371 small blocks, uses no mods, uses no DLC stuff, so it's perfect to spawn in in vanilla survival. So let's start by going around the outside, and then we'll have a little fly around, I'll strap some guns onto this, and we'll pay a visit to my favourite little pirate base. So at the very front here, we have got a spotlight with three atmospheric thrusters, just slightly below it. And that would be my character. Hello character, how are you doing in there? Slightly below the atmospheric thrusters, we've got some blast door edges and a camera. Now the camera has been situated in a rather novel position because most people would put the camera slightly up here so it's just in front of the cockpit but having it at the very bottom of the ship ensures that you won't accidentally scrape the top of trees while you're flying low. Pulling back and coming around to here we've got first of four thruster pods which are large atmospheric thrusters which have been surrounded by some white sloped blocks which have been done in the way to make them circular. They've had the gaps filled in with some more sloped and corner blocks which just makes them look great. They have blinking lights on the outside which just blink on a very short sharp pattern and as we move along the side there we can see our black fighter cockpit. We've got some more blast or edges in there and we can see how it's been connected up to the spotlight on the front with those white sloped blocks. Just pulling away there we can see a sneaky battery in there with a static white light on there, more atmospheric thrusters, an antenna which sits on either side of the cockpit just for symmetry purposes and then we come round to a, another little thruster pod. Now when I saw this on the workshop, I was wondering if it was using the rotor script. I completely forgot what it's called, but I use it a lot, where you can attach thrusters onto a rotor, and when set up correctly, it'll follow the way you're flying, so you don't have to put lots of thrusters on there, you can simply just use four thrusters at most. But no, it's all been stuck on properly, so there's no rotors there to anger Lord Clang when he wants to destroy something. Anyway, at the very back there we've got some more white blocks and another blast or piece which is coming off the back of the cockpit and down towards our main forward thrust, which is four small atmospheric thrusters. Slightly below that we can see we've got a small reactor and some more blast door parts. We've got two landing gear and a connector right at the bottom there. Do have to be a little bit careful when landing this because they are all on the same level. So if you come down hard, you're going to damage these and the blocks at the back here. We then have a spotlight which is dead underneath you. So if you were to take off and want to land in an awkward position at night, you can do that quite handily thanks to that spotlight. We then have a beacon which is sitting underneath and on the opposite side we have an ore detector so we can use this as a small little scout ship to find the ore you want and then signal that back to the big miner to come over and collect it all up. And then if I just come around and have a quick little look at the top there there's not too much else I can talk about that I haven't covered already it's just a lovely design. So with that all done and out the way, it's time for me to get into my character, and I hope you like the starting base, I turned it all into the hideous purple glamour skin, which does look amazing. Anyway, getting into this before I get carried away with that and turn this into a glamour monstrosity, the cockpit! We have got the camera at the very front there, where we just view underneath it. Number three is to turn the beacon on and off. Number four, number five are for the antennas on your left and right, so there's that. Number six is for the spotlight at the front. Number seven is for the spotlight underneath. Number eight is for the connector underneath. And number nine is to lock or unlock those landing gear, and that about covers it. So like I said, this ship is designed for you to add more stuff onto it if you wanted to do that, and to show that, well, I just fell down. To show off what was meant by that, you could very easily just snap off them, which would then reveal those two little batteries. And you could just strap on some Gatling guns. You could then just maybe add on some conveyors. Yeah, some small conveyors 
Then we need a cargo container, a very tiny one. So we can then take this. I've got mirror mode turned on. We'll just need to get rid of that. Turn that into a corner. There we go, get rid of that block. And then place down a cargo container. Which will then allow you to put in some ammunition if you want to do that. And yeah, so if we could just come, if I bring the... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's that thing. Come over to here. I think it was that stuff for these. We can spawn in maybe 10 boxes into that cargo container. There we go. We've got seven into that one. Let's just go and put these into this one. Might be a bit awkward because I don't have my crosshair on. There we go. Do that. Spawn into that cargo container and we're good to go to go and drag on the weapon blocks onto there. And there we go. So yeah, you could very easily upgrade this if you wanted to. You could just slap on some rockets and put them underneath. In fact, I'll show that right now because there's not too much else to talk about and we are going to go and attack some pirates. So you could, if you wanted to, get a reloadable rocket launcher and not place it there because I've forgotten about these things. Let's just go like that. Place them. Ooh, let's put it like that. And then we can put... Let's turn off mirror mode for the moment. Another one like that. And then you could just put rockets into there. Then we could go put a small little turret somewhere on there. If you didn't want that connector, you could just slap on one of these things. And yeah, just put it like bush. There we go. We now got even more weapons on this. And it's time to then come across to here. Do we need the cap? Oh, I've sort of blocked up the view, but that is fine. So we can shoot them forwards. Let's get rid of that beacon. Yep, let's just remove that off. Add on our reloadable rocket launchers. There we go. So now we are ready to go and attack my good friends, the pirates over there, with this now modified quadcopter Mark 1. I mean, it did look better with just the Gatling guns on there without the rockets, but you get the idea. Just strap stuff on and away you go. So flying all the way over to this, we then have a little bit of combat and that will be it for this video. It's a nice short sweet one. It does have a very snazzy design, but you know what would be even better than having that? Oh yes, we could just go and... There we are. <laughs> now it's amazing. 10 out of 10. Going to number one, we can then view forwards. Shoot the rockets there, they're going over to that side. Now we can start shooting like that. Oh, the trees are popping out of nowhere. Now come over to here. The turret underneath is now firing. Let's fire some rockets into them. There we go, and now we need to turn around. Oof! Took a direct hit into one of our atmospheric thrusters. Oh, just dodging that one. Get the Gatling guns rolling. Let's just do some evasive maneuvers. Hey, that actually worked quite well. Yes, let's keep going. Oh, I think I lost all my... I lost all the other thrusters at the back there. So we're going to have to do it like this. Just get some momentum and fire some rockets into them. Just keep circling around like so. Just try and get rid of that over there. Did we get rid of that turret? We might have. And that is now gone. So now we can just tilt ourselves down once again. In fact, let's just go like this, get some momentum, and fly a bit more towards that, and try and go for a crash. And let's say hello to the pirates. Well, that went well. Oof. What on earth happened there? Just sort of... Dropped and exploded. So like I said, it's an absolute lovely design when you're not being silly and strapping a load of weapons on there and changing it to the glamour skin. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video on Monday. Bye bye.